Listen, I'm extremely passionate about this conversation that happened between Tyler the Creator and Gerard Carmichael. Partly because I did meet Tyler the Creator and it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life where I fumbled so hard because he was my biggest idol icon and he recognized me from a model search that I entered. These are literally the pictures I sent to golf casting. These are the pictures Tyler the Creator saw and said, yeah, I, I want that, I like this vibe. I went to his store and he recognized me and he said, oh yeah, we starred 10 profiles and yours was one of them. Like I went through all of those pictures and i remember you imagine being 19 and your biggest crush idol icon like person you think about all the time their creativity you listen to their music you listen to their interviews imagine they come up to you and say i recognize you would you remember your own name i didn't would you be funny and charismatic i was simply starstruck dumbfounded he was like yeah we started 10 profiles and yours was one of them and i was like oh my gosh really Cool, like I think I was giving NPC because I was freaking out. I was literally freaking out, like never in my n craziest dreams did I ever imagine that that would have happened to me, that he would have come up to me. And I'd been to Camp Vlog now like a couple times at that point. Like that never ever in my mind was a possibility. And he's like intimidating because he's like, he's, he's hot, he's really hot. And he's tall and he was wearing a scarf and like a green sweater and like, ah! like I've always, I've always been obsessed with him. I'm also obsessed with Gerard. I have a thing for black men who are maybe not straight, like uh, something I don't, I don't really know. I don't know, but I do know that I have a history of liking whatever that gives, you know? I'm definitely have dated bi men before. Anyways, um, I don't, I don't know. I forgot my own name. Was very, very NPC giving. Definitely was not giving very much in the conversation because I was shocked, okay? Like, he was, like, number one on my list of people I ever wanted to meet. All of this to say, he basically said, this conversation is going nowhere, and he turned around and he left. And he was not afraid to say that, right? Like, he... He very much is like living in his truth and his power to be a dick. Like he will be a dick. And so when people are saying, oh, you know, Gerard, like, why did you have to bring this up on camera? If he already said like, you're, haha, you stupid bitch. That is just Tyler. He is very fine being kind of a dick to you. And he does it in like an endearing whatever way. And you feel shameful, but he doesn't fucking care. He's him. He can do whatever he wants. Everybody wants him, like, low-key. And I feel so bad for Gerard, because I'm the Gerard, I'm Gerard in this situation, obviously. Obviously, I'm a Pisces. I'm the Pisces lover girl. Obviously, I'm Gerard. If you ever thought I was Tyler, I've never been Tyler in my life. I've never been Tyler in my life. Everything that has left me has my claws in it. That's my new favorite. I heard that somewhere. I was like, that's fucking rude. How well that applies to me. Um, yeah. Tyler doesn't really care if he hurts your feelings in a way that I respect, but it's hurtful. It's definitely hurtful because I think about that interaction like every other day. Like that was, and if it was me now, I wouldn't have done that. That's why it sucks so bad because I used to, when I was in college, believe it or not, I did not have this much of a voice. Like I was not this good at articulating myself, at speaking up. Like I didn't raise my hand that much in class, like all this shit. And if it was now, like... A, a girl would have been booked and busy, but I don't know. He didn't end up picking me for whatever shoot that was going to be, even though I supposedly made the top 10, maybe because I bumble fucked my way through it when I met him in person. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's nothing I could have done. There's nothing I could have done. Um, it was a sad day for me. No, it was a happy day, though. It was actually I was really happy about it. I just wish I had handled it differently, but like I wasn't. I honestly gave myself some grace because I was like, your idol tapped you on the shoulder and say, hey, I recognize you. You weren't prepared for that. And that's okay. Because that's insane. That's insane. And ever since, though, I've been like so chill about like when I see somebody I'm like impressed by, I've been so chill about it. But like, now I'm 26. At the time, I checked the picture. It says December 10th, 2017. I don't know if you can see. 2017 it's 2024 i my personality has changed so much since then it's actually insane it's 
actually insane. Like, if I met her, she would be so different. Like, I would recognize her, and I would love her, and I would like her, but she couldn't get her feelings out, and she couldn't articulate herself quickly the first time, and she wouldn't know what to say if that happened. I know what to say if that happened, but anyways, testament to growth, a testament to growth. 